The Afrikaner obviously was under pressure. The state theatres were closing down. Very little happened in the big theatres that were handed over. And somebody had a bit of a vision and said, let's start a festival, and the festivals took off. Ons moet onthou, dit was pas na die begin van die nieuwe Suid-Afrika. Jy weet, alles was baie op een mespunt. Daar was baie weerstand. We had a terrible past. We had to get over that. Either bury it and start anew, or try and understand what had happened. Identity was probably the main thing. We didn't even know it, but that was what we were doing. We were identifying ourselves. <laughs> Het was niet meer één groep zonder enige nuance. Je kon op verschillende manieren associëren met wie jij is en waar je vandaan komt en die taal wat je praat. Ik denk dat ze bij mensen wat voor de eerste keer beseffen wat die harder kan wees. I think it tried to maintain a certain attitude towards theatre, which meant that it was supposed to be engaged and engaging. It was challenging all kinds of conventions in terms of gender, in terms of politics, in terms of race. It was difficult theatre to watch, but it was so rewarding. The Afrikaner gehoor is geconfronteerd met alles, tegelijkertijd. The other thing that post-94 brought on was that people were scared of offending. And I think on stage you have to lose that. We have to pull these things apart on stage. We can't just push it away. We have to deal with the issues. Theatre can't just be a mirror that shows up the truth. It should also be a door that you can walk through and leave certain things behind and explore something new.